All right, guys, so today we're going to be heading to Houston via the Amtrak. Uh, we're going to experience, we haven't experienced it before, uh, first time taking the train ever. I don't think we ever took a train. Took the subway before, took uh, the buses, but never, never a train. So I'm going to show you how it is to take the Amtrak train to Houston. It's only like a three hour, four hour uh, train ride. So uh looked, looked fun from other youtube videos so i wanted to make my own to experience it now especially in covid times uh, they actually have a deal right now which is 299 dollars for unlimited travel for one month so that's pretty cool i don't know if i'll do that but uh, they do have that which is kind of intriguing anyway uh we're here at the train station just waiting we have about 45 minutes we're lucky that it is a nice overcast sky so it's not too uh, hot right now because otherwise it would be a hundred plus degrees so just gonna wait and uh, I'll show you guys some stuff around here in the train station so this is the Beaumont train station right here so right here not too much it's just the waiting area over here and then what we have over here is the bathroom so this is the bathrooms over here That's about it. Other than that, there's some uh, parking spots, but nothing much, nothing much else. There is a Dollar General down over here. Like if you go further, not, not too far. Oh, actually, it's actually over here. Sorry, the Dollar General's right over there. So if you want some snacks or whatever, you can get it. Let's go check out the bathroom, see how uh, clean they are. You probably can't even go. Restrooms open from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. Yeah, let's, uh, nope. Oh, yeah. Okay, there's the restrooms. It's actually air conditioned in here, so if you wanted to hang out in the restrooms, if it was a hot day, you could do that for sure. But that's it. We're gonna go wait. This is my mom over here. You excited to go on the train? Excited, very excited for this fun train. <laughs> Come on, it sounds, it sounds too big. You say, you know, I, you say, it sounds more natural. Like, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, it's been a long time since I was like a young girl when I last checked. You excited for the train? Oh yeah, yeah, the first time in our life. First time in the history of our family. What do you have to say about that? That is a lie. <laughs> you, you have not been on a train oh, in the United States. Here in Beaumont, the new studies is the we first did time. in uh, Europe. So if you do need to charge your phones, they do have little outlets for free to use over here. So here's a uh, cargo train going by. They're leaving. There's all the cool uh, graffiti on them. You can see right there, this one, cool graffiti. But uh, it's like seeing a rolling artwork museum. made on the train excited. First time I'm gonna be on the Amtrak. Alright we made it on the train now. Everybody's here. There's a person down below who was uh, not wearing their mask so the police came on the train and they're trying they're telling him to put on his mask or get off so that's fun we made it here to the observatory deck over here with willie my parents are right there you see there's a lot of windows up up high all around this is where you can chill out eat do whatever you want to do 
that guy that I was talking about that wasn't wearing his mask, he got kicked off of the train. So, uh, yeah, wear your mask, especially if you're gonna ride the train. So right now we are here, the dining cart. This is like the more fancier dining. This is where uh, we're gonna go try to go, but you have to wait to be seated. So we're waiting right now, kind of cramped. Hopefully they see us. Is, is this a, are you I'm sure? not really sure. Or is this just for people? Oh, no, it can't be only for the front of the It's food. a sleeping car. And it says welcome, and the will see you shortly. So we're waiting, let's see what kind of food they have here. We're gonna, we don't know, we don't know. Okay, so what we found out sleeping is that area is only for people who are in the sleeping cars, who basically have a whole room. Uh, they said hopefully in the future, uh, they're gonna open up to coach passengers like us. So we didn't pay enough money to go eat in that little dining room. So this is the food available to us, us, us coach passengers. Hot dogs, pizza, burgers, bagels. So there's Willie buying the food. And we're off. We're starting to move right here. So me and Willie were waiting in this room over here. This little dining care. There's like a little part for like 10 minutes. And the, the wait staff was looking at us like, what are we doing? And they finally came over here to us and was like, y'all cannot come in here. So because we have no fine dining, we got DiGiorno pizza from the microwave. <laughs> So that's what we got. At least we got a free beer. Free beer. For a little embarrassment. Got a pizza. They have like flowers and vases in there. Hey, it was so fancy in there. They had flowers, nice real plates. So let's do a mid train pizza review on this DiGiorno pizza. You guys see it? I'm gonna give this pizza out of 10. Crust, crust is soggy, pretty doughy, but the overall taste is okay, but I give it a 5 out of 10. What do you give, Willie? Like, 1. For how much you pay for it? No. If it was like 3 bucks, I would eat that in a second, but he, he's a harsh critic. I think it's like almost like 10 bucks for that pizza. <laughs> So, so far the train experience is uh, pretty good. We did have to wait a long time to get boarded on. It was delayed about two and a half hours. But once on, the train is nice. We are in the coach class. Smooth riding. There's a little bump, but it's like a, not a big jolt. It's like just a sway kind of movement. So not, not too bad. But uh, yeah, we're here. Pretty good experience so far. Again, this is the observatory area. So our seats are back there. I will show you guys how the seats are in a little bit. But uh, so far we're just riding. They said there should be some delays because uh, Amtrak is on like commercial trail lines. So I think the commercial uh, trains have precedent over us. Something like that. I don't know. So definitely a lot of greenery over here. That's what we're seeing a lot of. My dad said he saw some deer, so that was cool. I don't know if you guys can see, but this is all the bayou that we're over here. Uh, Houston is a bayou city. All right, so this is our seats right here. You can see there is a footrest. So you do have a footrest. You could just use that and put it up and down. Pretty good leg room over here. You guys can see. And then you can also recline your seats over here pretty far back where's this one there's another one so there's an ottoman over here i'm laid pretty far back 
pretty comfortable. There's like not nobody in this car over here. So yeah, if you guys can see, there's a lot of room over here, even though we are in coach and can't sit in the main dining room right now. They are gonna open it up later, but right now we can't. And you could also close the blinds if you want to be, have some darkness and open them up, of course. So other than that, there is this little table over here. So you guys see. There's this table over here that you have. You could definitely, you know, put your laptop on there or whatever. They also have a bunch of outlets for you. So if you need to charge your stuff, you use that. There is no USB uh, ports. You just have to bring your own brick. But other than that, you have power. That'd be good. Pretty tiny, pretty similar to a airplane bathroom. Over here, you can toilet, pretty much no space. So you guys can see right here, I could touch that right there. So not too huge. Pretty normal stuff, no cups. They do have napkins, towels, and then soap and water. So there you go. Here's the bathroom. Just uh, departing now. Getting off the train. So we are out of the train. We do have to still wear a mask outside, but we're here. We made it. Uh, how's my experience? I think that was pretty cool. We only went on it to experience the train, and yeah, I enjoyed it. Relaxing. The only thing was the train is not never on time, so it wasn't on time for us. But really cool experience. I would definitely do that if I was in a hurry to go somewhere. I would try that again for sure. So really good experience. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you guys did, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.